Peace be to you. By invoking the United States Fair Use Policy, I shall play the video clip of Dr. Zaker Naik, who declares that no Muslim worshipped the Karaba. Then I will play another video clip, which he quoted the Mosaic Law on Idolatry. I will comment after his speech, as to, why Dr. Zaker Naik is slapping his own face. If Islam is against idol worship, why do you bow down the Kaaba when you offer Salah? No Muslim ever worships the Kaaba when you offer Salah. Kaaba is the Qibla, it is the direction. We Muslims, we believe in unity. Now when we offer Salah, suppose you want to offer Salah here. Some will say, let's face north, some will say south, some will say east, some will say west. For unity, Allah says in the Quran Surah Baqarah, that wherever you are, face towards the Kaaba. So Kaaba is the Qibla, it is the direction. So we are facing in that direction, but no one worships the Kaaba. But the Kaaba is the likeness of something like a black cube, which is clearly forbidden in the Torah. In Deuteronomy 5 verse 8 Yahweh says, You shall not make for yourself a carved image, or any likeness of anything, that is in heaven above, or that is on the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. Unquote English Standard Version. Apart from any carved image, it contains the phrase, any likeness of anything that is on the earth beneath. So the description includes the Karaba house in Mecca, which is an idol, since it is a likeness of the black cube and not formless. It's mentioned in the Bible, in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 5, verse number 7, 8 and 9, Thou shall not have any graven image of me, Almighty God, He's telling, in the Old Testament, Thou shall have no graven image of me, of anything, of any likeness, in the heaven above, in the earth beneath, and the water beneath the earth. Thou shalt not serve them, nor bow down to them, for I, thy God, thy Lord, is a jealous God. Same message repeated in the book of Exodus. Chapter number 20, verse number 3 to 5, that thou shalt have no graven image of me, of anything, of any likeness, in the heaven above, in the earth beneath, in the water beneath the earth. Thou shalt not bow down to them, nor serve them, for I, thy God, thy Lord, is a jealous God. So according to the Old Testament, idol worship is prohibited. And Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, it's mentioned in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 5, verse number 7 to 20, think not that I have come to destroy the law of the prophets, I have come not to destroy, but to fulfill. Whosoever shall break one of the least commandments and teach me to do so, shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven. And whosoever shall keep the commandments, shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Unless your righteousness exceeds the righteousness of the scribes and the Pharisees, in no way shall you enter the kingdom of heaven. That means if you want to enter the kingdom of heaven, according to Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, you have to follow each and every law of the Old Testament, of Moses, peace be upon him. No making images of Almighty God. Yet they make. Why? Thank you, Dr. Zaker Naik, for quoting from the Mosaic Law and the Gospel of Jesus Christ, which proves that Prophet Moses and Lord Jesus Christ did not prostrate towards the Karaba house built of stones and in the likeness of something like the black cube. Karaba is a huge idol, since it is not formless on earth. But why all Muslims are worshipping the Karaba idol daily without fail? It is mentioned in Quran al-Baqarah 2 verse 142-145 that Muhammad spoke from his own mouth about the change of Qibla from the people of the book to the Qibla of his preference. Allah has not spoken in the aforesaid passage, as nowhere does the passage contains the phrase Allah said nor Gabriel said, but it was Muhammad speaking from his mouth for sure. Hence, all Muslims are Karab idolaters by following the Arabian idolater, who did not submit to the will of Yahweh God of Abraham, God of Isaac and God of Israel. Amen.